weeks and weeks of investigations has led detectives right here to Julie's place off of North Monroe Street in Tallahassee. Neighbors of Mario Cloud say they're thrilled that there is a suspect description being released, but they're still fearful because that suspect is still on the loose. Rick Scott just showed up here to the Goodwood Museum about 20 minutes ago. People are still trickling in behind me. Goodness, it feels just like that stuff they used to bottle up. And Regina, tell me about, there's a brochure over here with lots of other indoor activities. I'm about to lose this. We're talking 19 events in eight different cities and all ending here tonight with the inaugural ball. Is it okay if I hop in this bounce house with you? <laughs> all right, cool. All right, Angel, we'll see you at 5.30. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Thanks for joining us. Just over an hour of deliberations, the jury unanimously recommended a death sentence for convicted killer Gary Michael Hilton. I got out there just before the family arrived to find their loved one already gone. The woman's daughter had to be held back from going into the smoldering home as she screamed out they couldn't get her out. There was just support pouring from both sides of the street as everybody came marching down. The weather was absolutely gorgeous. The state says Jackson wasn't standing his ground, only adding to the violence. Instead of finding safety further back into the store, he went outside and fired a shot. He troubles having no problem eating today and his foster parents say now he's up for adoption. You all, it smells like kettle corn out here. You've got to get out here. It smells delicious. I'm playing with gas. We've got snow, we've got Santa, we've got Squeaky the mouse. All that's missing is you. We'll have more in just a bit. Even if motorcyclists do choose to wear a helmet, sometimes the severity of the crash isn't always up to them. Hey, I was thinking maybe we'd uh, come in from the north side and, and park right there. Officer Michael McLeod with the Tallahassee Police Department's gang unit patrols areas known to be more saturated with gang activity on the south side of Tallahassee. Go to a particular uh, area that uh, is in one of our particular gang territories, and um, which is known for drug sales. We're going to go see if they're, if they're out there. If they are, we're going to get out to make contact with them. Members of the gang unit are confident the majority of gang members in Tallahassee are already documented. Our youngest gang member is 11 years old and our oldest um, in his mid-20s. The next stop, this playground off Orange Avenue that has a bad reputation as a gang hangout. Make it difficult for the young kids to actually come out to the playground and have fun because of the different activities that's associated with it. Once they see the police car, they just take off running. That happens a lot of times. I'm sure they're not late for Bible study. Results from the Attorney General's Gang Reduction Strategy Report released Wednesday shows the Big Bend has seen a 60% increase in documented gangs since 2009. But Leo's say an increase isn't necessarily a bad thing. With our increase in identifying and tracking of those gang members inside the Leon County Jail, we have seen uh, an increase in numbers because of that knowledge and that awareness. A jury, of the, a majority of the jury by a vote of 12 to nothing advise and recommend to the court that it impose the death penalty on Gary Michael Hilton. Just seconds before Gary Hilton heard his fate, he fixed his tie and turned to smile at a gallery full of people. The jury took just an hour and 15 minutes to decide he should be sentenced to death for kidnapping, murdering, and dismembering Sunday school teacher Cheryl Dunlap. The jury saw what needed to be done here to accomplish justice and we think that's what Mr. Hilton got. Prosecutor Georgia Kappelman wasn't the only one. Dunlap's cousin Gloria Tucker nearly fist pumped her way out of the courtroom. <laughs> it says Hilton's life is not equal to what Dunlap meant to her. I don't think I got justice or closure. I don't think Sherry got justice or closure. Uh, I think the only ones that will get justice are any potential victims. It doesn't bring Cheryl back. Nothing's going to change the fact that she was taken from us. Alternate juror William Booth sat in on all 11 days and says he would have made the same decision. I was optimistic. You know, I didn't think that it would take as long as it did. However, Booth says the outcome speaks volumes. You know, at times I would, um, you know, just start to tear up. It's just a, you know, horrific thing. I, I'm, I feel like justice, you know, is... I know that it's been served all the way, but it's being served. A couple of years ago, the flavored malt beverage for Loco burst onto store shelves, giving consumers a jolt while getting drunk. I don't really like it. It's just that it's it's easier to like get drunk quicker. My friend was like, oh, you know, these things are really potent, and I was, tried it, and it's not good, but it gets you drunk, gets the job done. But over the past year, the energy drink has been under a microscope by the Food and Drug Administration for the effects that it has on the body. I probably quarter, quarter of the way to halfway through it, you definitely notice. Now the can does say that it contains alcohol, but what it doesn't tell you is that it's the equivalent of six light beers 
and two cups of coffee. And some say, that's a recipe for disaster. And now, even the FDA says so. That's why they call this liquid cocaine crack in a can or blackout in a can. The brightly labeled fruity flavored beverage also appeals to younger drinkers like 20-year-old FSU student Jason Kieran, who shot and killed himself back on September 17th. Kieran's parents say he was under the influence of Four Loco and filed a lawsuit against its maker, Fusion Products. The problem with Four Loco is, is it's got such a high concentrate of alcohol, but yet all these caffeinated stimulant products so that an individual doesn't go to sleep. That's when all the dangerous things happen. After sobering findings, the FDA announced Wednesday that the stimulated recipe for Four Loco is banned. It's just shocking. It's just, you know, it's kind of unreal because, I don't know, I felt like she was reaching out to, reaching out for help, and a lot of people turned their backs on her, and I think I did too. The discovery of Sunday Blomberg's body has left many saddened, surprised, and full of questions. Shocking. I couldn't even sleep last night just thinking about the poor girl just laying out there and her little girl. It's a mama, you know, it's a baby's mama. Sunday's sister, Sunshine, who only wished to comment through a family spokesperson, sat through the press conference fighting back tears. Belinda Griffin worked with Sunday at this little pantry in Tipton. She was real bubbly. She, um, she always had something good to say, you know, she was, she was, she was a really sweet person. Neighbors of Sunday's in-laws, Roy and Ruby Evans, say they are surprised, but they have witnessed firsthand Roy's aggressive behavior. It's sad, the whole situation, because you hear about this stuff every day happening in the world, and one day it ends up around you, and it's all real then, you know? Yeah, I'm very excited. It's a great day, good day. And it's just really exciting. Ecstatic. Very excited. Yeah. It was kind of unmeasurable. These are just a few of the 16,000 med students who took part in Match Day 2010. Thursday morning, FSU College of Medicine grads and many other across the country found out where they will receive their residence training, a defining moment in their medical careers. Some will continue their studies together. We are, we are very, very excited. We got our first choice, so it just couldn't have uh, worked out any better. Yeah, we, we participated in the couples match. You know, I'm just happy to go with my family, and we're ready to, ready to start a new, new chapter. Students simultaneously opened sealed envelopes. Shrieks and applause came from all over the crowd as families cheered and celebrated together. But a successful match to a residency program doesn't mean the end of hard work. The students will spend the next three to seven years completing training in the medical field. And while many will get their training miles from home, others are happy to stay right where they are. Yes, I have a little daughter, six months, so um, it's great to be close to family here as well. Everyone has waited for this day for an incredibly long time. And after opening their envelopes, they were able to stand up in front of the crowd and tell everybody where they were going and let the people who were tuning in on the other side of the webcast know where they were going. It was all very, very, very exciting. There were a couple of people opening right in front of me, and they were jumping up and down. I was jumping up and down. Good afternoon. Angela is off. Our top story, violence at home claims a woman's life in Valdosta. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Montanero is here with the details. Thomas County law enforcement is taking a hard stand against drinking at a high school football games. Sheriff's deputies say they will not tolerate underage drinking or those over the age of 21 being publicly intoxicated. They say even a little alcohol can quickly turn a fun night into a dangerous situation. And the orange and green bowling team receives a Rattler renovation. Elton Gumbel has the highlights with your Good Morning Sports. And thanks so much for everyone who posted your comments. There were a ton of great ones to choose from. And to read all of them, you can go to our homepage at WCTV.TV and click on this story.